Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. This video is not going to be very long. I just got to give you a heads up. So, Etsy. I started Etsy when I started List Perfectly, which I'm not sure when that was, but List Perfectly is a cross posting, um, what do you call it, app or not really an app. You download it onto your computer and then you can cross post. But anyway, I have a video on it. Just search my uh, videos for list perfectly and it'll explain how it works. But anyhow, it helps you cross post quicker. And when I started list perfectly, I was already doing Poshmark and Mercari and I had dabbled in Etsy before, but I never really, it never took, I never sold anything. So I kind of just quit, you know, and then I started list perfectly and I'm like, oh, it's so easy. You know, I just, it, it'll automatically add all of the stuff from eBay into the list perfect or into list. Well, now you can skip list perfectly and take it straight to Etsy, which is even quicker. Um, so yeah, but when I first started, you had to load it into list perfectly and then it went over to Etsy, but now it's just a straight shot from eBay to Etsy or eBay to Poshmark. It's amazing. And you can bulk edit or bulk list, sorry, bulk cross post, whatever it's called. Fantastic. Watch my video. It makes much more sense than I'm making right now. It's almost midnight and I guess I'm tired because I'm not making any sense. So Etsy, I've sold some stuff. Have I sold a lot? No, but I have sold some bolos on Etsy. So I felt like I needed to share these bolos with you guys. So you know what to look for, right? I'm embarrassed to say that I've only sold like 11 items. <laughs> But I don't have very much on Etsy. I will say that. And I know it's not a, a platform that's as big as eBay. You know, I know that it's more for like um, people who make stuff, you know, but you have to build your following and you have to build your feedback. And I think I only have four feedback because people just, they don't give feedback. Um, so let's get started. Here we go. All right. The first item is this perfume. Okay, so Dulce and Gabbana. This is from my thrift store haul. And I ended up having about 36 cents in this because I bought a whole bunch. It is partially used and I sold this. I don't know what it, I think it was 105 plus shipping. No, maybe it was 115. Anyway, the total paid, I'm just going to tell you the total paid on these, was $131.44 is what this sold for. And, you know, it allows you to, when you cross post, the pictures automatically come over, which is fantastic. Your description comes over, your title comes over. It makes it so much easier. So, yeah, I paid $0.36 cents for this and I sold it for $131.44 plus shipping and no, I'm sorry, that is with shipping. And this sold um, quicker on Etsy than the other platforms. The next item are these pullback Disney um, McDonald's toys. They'd be great cake toppers, I gotta say. Uh, I got these for about 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So with the shipping cost, they sold for a total of $27.44. This is like a vintage beeswax pineapple ornament. I picked this up at a garage sale and I don't know. I It was kind of on a whim. There was a box full. I wasn't really sure if they would sell or not, to be quite honest. And I've sold this one and then I, I sold some, um, I think they're like Easter eggs with bunnies in them, which probably sold because it's getting closer to Easter. But yeah, I've done pretty good with them. So if you see them, you know, it's a great bread and butter item. With shipping, this sold for $19.41. The next item I sold was this little vintage blow mold deer. Super, super cute. I picked it up at a garage sale for like a buck. I sold this with shipping total. I think this one had free shipping, was $55. So um, the shipping came out of my profits on this one, which is fine. It was still fantastic margins. I'm trying to do free shipping more on Etsy, um, but on the big stuff, I do not do free shipping. So these are six vintage Interpol Pearl, Pearl, 
Interper, six vintage Interper wax Christmas candles made in Korea with the original box. And the box is not fancy. It's just a box, but it was nice for shipment. And they sold for $45. And again, I think I had free shipping on that. So I covered the shipping and I paid $3 for these at a garage sale. The next item I picked up in the free box. Yes, I said free box at a garage sale. And no, I didn't put a shirt on my mannequin. So I apologize if anybody is completely offended by that. But um, I just didn't. I was too lazy, I guess. But there are holes, not holes, but you see how it's kind of stuck through it? And it makes like a, it's adjustable. That's what I'm trying to say. All the way up the thing. So you can wear it on different um, levels of tightness, like around your neck. But it's super cute and it was in the free box and it's rabbit fur. And I sold this for $64.20. And that was the shipping costs were built into that. This vintage 1977 Fisher Price Grand Doll House. Okay, you guys, I gotta tell you, I pick these up whenever I see them. They are super annoying to package and ship, but you can make good money on these. Um, they do fold up and Usually when I buy them, I buy them with all of the accessories and the dolls. But this one, I think, was at a garage sale and it was by itself. And I think I paid $5 for it, if I remember. It was either 5 or 7 But these little things, the window um, things, come off. And if you ever see those, buy them because you can sell those for $10 to $12, just those, because people need them for replacements. So just FYI. But I sold this uh, for $139.82, and that was the shipping's built into that. So my shipping cost came out of that total. And I don't remember what I paid for shipping. The next item is this Timex calculator watch from 1989. To be honest with you, I have no idea what my husband paid for it. This was one of his listings, and it sold for $80.44. The next item are these cute, adorable calico critters family. It's squirrel family. And I don't know why. I, I believe these are vintage. I should have had vintage in the title. Oh, that's because I didn't because Etsy, everything's vintage. Okay, so uh, I paid about two bucks for these. It was a bulk buy. And I sold these for $55. Now this here, you guys. I, I did pull out some of the characters, like the ones you just saw, and I sold them separately. I don't know if I would have made more selling this off in small lots. I mean, sometimes people will list, you know, like the little boat right here as, you know, for 10 bucks. And if people need certain things, they will pay up for them. This was a bulk buy at a garage sale, okay? All of this Calico Critter stuff. They wanted a, I can't remember how much for all of it. But there was this and there was a tarp full of toys, just tons of toys at this garage sale. There was stuff on the table. And I said, I'll give you this price for all of it. And I cannot remember what that price was. Maybe it's in another video. But um, I'm guessing I had about $35 in all of this. And I sold it for $346.78. So a fantastic score. These are vintage. Um, I think they do still make calico critters, so you have to be careful, but these definitely are the vintage ones. So it was a super big score. I had no clue when I purchased this that it was going to be worth that much money. Again, I'm trying to get into toys, so when I see them at garage sales, I just buy them if they're a good price, and I kind of hope for the best, and this was definitely a score. But there's a lot of stuff here, but I'm very, very happy with it that so the very first item that I sold on Etsy and the funny thing is is I brought these home and I said what are these and my husband's like I think those are like ice fishing poles and he's like what did you pay for them and I'm like I don't know or no no I'm sorry I said um I said five dollars and he's like what were you thinking and I was like I don't know um I don't know why I bought them I shouldn't have bought them because I don't want to ship them because they're a pain to ship I had these on eBay for a very long time. No luck selling them. I'm guessing somebody bought them like as a photo prop or something like that because they would be really cool for a photo prop. 
But again, my husband was kind of like giving me a hard time. Like, what were you thinking? <laughs> he was nice about it, but you know what I'm saying? It wasn't my best moment, my best buy. You guys, I have a lot of duds. Like I show you my solds and there's a lot of stuff that sits and a lot of stuff that takes a while to sell. And I'm just going to be upfront with you that this took a long time to sell, but it sold really fast on Etsy. So that's another thing about branching out to other platforms. Like I have certain things that sell better on Mercari, certain things that sell better on Poshmark. And that's where List Perfectly comes in. And I pay $49 a month for List Perfectly, but it's worth it because it saves me so much time. Yes, I still have the time that it takes me to cross post, but I'm making money on each platform. And I don't know, just try it for a month. And if you hate it, then you can quit, you know, but I definitely recommend it because people that shop on Mercari or that sell on Mercari buy on Mercari. People that um, sell on Poshmark buy on Poshmark and Mercari and Poshmark hold your money. Let me go over here. Oh, let me tell you, I sold these fishing poles for $35 and I paid five and it was a garage sale. So what I was saying is people that sell on Mercari buy on Mercari. People that sell on Poshmark, buy on Poshmark. The money is held in your account on Mercari and Poshmark, and you have to take it out of your account and deposit it into your bank account. So if you buy something on the platform and you have money sitting in your account, you can choose to use that money towards your purchase instead of, um, you know, having it pulled off your credit card. So a lot of people do this so that they can buy stuff, you know, like a lot of, um, people that aren't really like big time resellers, but maybe just want to sell the stuff out of their closet. And then they just go and buy from other people on Posh. And I will tell you that I had never bought off Mercari or Poshmark before I started selling on them. And now I buy on Poshmark and Mercari. I hate buying on Amazon. I just won't. I just hate it. Um, I can never figure out the shipping. It's just so confusing to me. And I know if you're prime, you get everything free, but I'm not prime. So anyhow, this is my Etsy video. What do you guys think about Etsy? Who's selling on Etsy? And how are you doing on Etsy? I know that um, Vicky and Katie sell. Oops, I just broke my pen. I was, ah, I broke it. You know, the little thing, the clip, which is not good because it I clip it to my paper. But anyway, Vicky and Katie. Is it Vicky and Katie? It's Katie and Vicky. The Katie and Vicky YouTube channel. They sell on Etsy and they sell a lot on Etsy and they have amazing bolos. So if you guys have not checked out their channel, I'm telling you, if you want to learn, oh, my fan just started running. Am I pixelating? Am I like blurring? This will be a good test because my fan wasn't running. And I think I'm getting like that, um, uh, the blurs and the pixelation or whatever it's called. I don't even, is pixelation a word? <laughs> Anyhow, I don't know why my fan keeps running. Maybe because I have so many tabs pulled up. I don't know. I'm doing the best I can with what I'm working with here. I, I keep dumping money into it. And at some point, I'm just going to have to maybe call a technician and be like, why is this happening? So yeah, Katie and Vicky, go check out their channel. Great, great bolos. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. And the comments definitely help bump me in the search. And I greatly appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Be sure to like, su like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. All right.